Good morning, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with The Trumpet for My People. Today is February 5th, 2023. I have an update for you guys today as I am seeing something that I uh, just learned. I was looking into this and this caught my attention here. And so we are on February 5th right now. We're coming up on to be Shavat. Depending on the calendar you're seeing, it's either tonight to tomorrow or it's it's tomorrow to the next day, anywhere between today, February 5th, and February 7th. Okay, and we're coming up on this uh, the comet that came out of Corona Borealis and crossed the tail of the dragon is now entering into the constellation of Auriga, and it's coming up on this star capella now i had never seen this before i had never looked into this but i just decided to look up capella and uh something very some very interesting details that i want to consider here uh, just take a look at get every, give everybody um this information so this is this is right now basically over the next one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Anywhere from the next twelve to fifteen hours, sixteen hours, the uh, comet is going to be closest to this star. Okay, Capella. All right, we're coming into to be Shavat, and we have this conjunction here with this. Capella. Now we are waiting for the return of Jesus Christ and what will then become the beginning of the Great tribula Tribulation and the rise of the Antichrist. Okay, what is the meaning of this star, Capella? This is an article that was just written here by Earth Sky, it was just written here a few days ago. And I think this has to do with the comet that's coming closest to Capella and in the constellation of Auriga. And they're bringing attention to this. This is something that is coming up here in uh, a news article. And you can check this out and uh, see if there's more information on this. But Capella is sometimes called the goat star. Okay, the goat star. Now, we know that the Antichrist is compared to a goat. As Obama showed himself in the Newsweek uh, cover goat god of all things god of this world some people say greatest of all time obviously that's the title that the antichrist would want to have but there's no way he's getting that because jesus christ is the greatest of all time but jesus is not a goat jesus is the great shepherd but the connection to the antichrist spirit is connected to a goat Okay, now here is this uh, Capella in the constellation of Auriga. And there's very interesting details about this. The bright star Capella in the constellation Auriga, the charioteer, is a flashy star when close to the horizon. That's because it's bright at magnitude 0.24. To be sure you found Capella, look for a little triangle of stars nearby. Capella is sometimes called the goat star, and the little triangle of stars is an asterism called the kids. So it's the goat and the kids. And so this is part of the reason why this constellation represents a, a goat herder, or what we, what we thought was maybe the sheep herder, but we have a goat herder, okay? And the capella is called the goat. The star capella is prominent on the Northern Hemisphere winter evenings. It's also known as Alpha Auriga because it's the brightest star in the constellation Auriga the Charioteer. And capella is the northernmost star in the huge asterism or star pattern known as the winter hexagon. Look at all of this symbology and terminology, the hexagon. It's the sixth brightest star in our night sky. 
or seventh in all if you count the sun. So you have the hexagon, you have the sixth brightest star, it's connected to a goat. It looks like one star, but it's actually four stars. More about the Capella system below. Capella is the Latin word for nanny goat. And this bright star is also called the goat star. The point of light we see as Capella looks distinctly golden. Capella shares a spectral type, type G, with our sun. In fact, Capella is the biggest and brightest yellow star in our sky. It's much bigger and brighter than our sun in absolute terms and, of course, much farther away at about 42 light years. Again, the number 42 connected to the Antichrist, 42 months that the Antichrist is given to continue from the... That's in contrast to our sun's distance of eight light minutes. So this star is 42 light years away. This ad that's showing up in this article is a, seems to be like an unrelated ad to the article itself, but it's all about trees. I hadn't seen this or paid attention to this, but this is a the uh, the day we're watching here as the comet is coming into Auriga is the new year of the trees, Shabbat 15, February 5th, 6th or 7th, somewhere in here. We're over the next hours, and the, the star capella, is the goat herder or the goat Ariga as depicted in Urania's mirror a set of constellation cards published in London circa 1825 Capella the goat star is a goat that the charioteer carries on his shoulder notice the two baby goats known as the kids at the larger goat's feet okay so you have the man and this is the representation of Ariga and it's the goat and his and his kids. Okay? It's the goat and his kids. The history and mythology of Auriga's brightest star. For such a large constellation with such a bright star, the mythology of Auriga and Capella is sparse. The constellation has been associated with the Greek sea god Poseidon, the Roman god Neptune. Other, other stories say Auriga represents Erictonius, the ancient lame king of Athens who invented the horse-drawn chariot. Auriga seems to have been associated with shepherds and flocks, so the title of nanny goat or she-goat for Capella is reasonable. However, neither Capella nor its constellation Auriga figures prominently in any major mythological stories from Greek or Roman culture. Richard Hinckley Allen, in his famed Star Names, says the ancient Arabs called the star Capella by a name that meant the driver and implies that this star was a shepherd driving a flock across the sky. The flock might have been the nearby star cluster, the Pleiades, although instead of sheep or goats, early Arabian stargazers saw this pattern composed of camels. Capella was also apparently important in ancient Egypt. It appears on the Dendera Zodiac as a mummified cat. In China, Capella and four other stars of Auriga were known as the five chariots. The other four stars are Auriga's Beta, Theta, Kappa, and Gamma. Bottom line, Capella, the goat star, is the brightest star in the constellation Auriga, the charioteer, and the sixth brightest star in the night sky. Capella is prominent in the Northern Hemisphere's winter sky and makes up one of the points in the winter hexagon. And this is how you can find Capella as you follow the line of the Big Dipper pointing out towards the Pleiades. It's along the way there is the constellation of Auriga and the bright star Capella. And this is where the comet is going to be over the next hours and the next few days. Now to this idea about the sheep herder or the goat herder, Matthew 25, 32 through 34. All the nations will be gathered before him and he will separate them one from another as a shepherd divides his sheep 
from the goats. And he will set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. Then the king will say to those on his right hand, Come, you blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world.